Hey everyone, Tragic here, and here we go again with another stack of packs, starting with this pack of Zendikar. Let's go. Just filling in my quota of content for you guys. So make sure to hit the like button and do all the YouTube stuff. And let me know what you think down below about this Explorer's Scope and this hideous end from Zendikar. Gorger, Scholar, We've got an Expedition Map, and as always, we will be scanning up the pretty decent cards, which Expedition Map should be pretty decent. It's 229. Got a Turn, and a Cartographer, Kraken, Desecrated Earth, Uncommons. We got Core Arrow Knight, or Arrow Knot, sorry, Trapmaker Snare, Frontier Guide, and Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle. Not just the regular pinnacle. It's molten. Enters the battlefield tapped. Whenever a mountain enters the battlefield under control, if you control at least five other mountains, you may have this. Deal three damage to target creature or player. I think that's pretty good. That probably sees a little bit of play. What do you know? I was right. 24 bucks. And a rules tip and a full art. Great. Great first pick out of my uh, Zendikar pack. And moving on to Ikoria, much newer, of course. Up, oh, it's got the side opener. I actually did it right that time. There's a lifelink cat and a rugged highlands and a Zagoth triome. Zagoth, Zagoth, whatever you want to say. Triland uh, with cycling. There's Battlefield Tap with Soul Tie colors. Is that Soul Tie, right? And. Uh, that's going to be pretty good. Wow, 14 bucks. So, uh, out of standard, but still in demand. We've got an Ivy Elemental, Zenith Flare, Auspicious Starix. Um, so, when I played standard uh, in Arena, um, this card got me a couple times. Maybe once or twice. Just going to check it. It's only good in whatever deck you set it up for with all cycling. It was really boring to play against, i got to say. Not the big. I'm not a big fan of the cycling mechanic in that way. I mean, it's definitely useful to draw cards or whatever, but that's not my favorite. Go for blood. All right, 2015 corset is next. Divine favor. We've got a Nimbus. Ranger's Guile. Pro. Divination. Mongrel, Juggernaut, keeps getting reprinted, Constricting Sliver, I'm going to check this one just in case, some of the slivers from this set, yep, they trend a little higher, they're slivers, they're useful, Overwhelm, and a Scuttling Doom Engine for 6, can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less, when it dies it deals 6 damage to target opponents at 6-6, six, six. um, not a big one there. Alright, so there's a mountain and nothing right there. One second. Alright, next up we got Shadow Moor, one of my favorite sets. Um, definitely some decent stuff you can pull out of this. Fun times. And it's an older set, so we're going to look real close. Puncture Bolt. Put a one, minus one, minus one counter on that creature after it does one damage. So it's, it's sharp. We got a safe hold duo. Shaman. Wing Rattle Scarecrow. Has, Wing Rattle Scarecrow has persisted as long as you control back a black creature. Yeah, I don't think that's a big one. Old Gaspark. Look at the art. Look at this guy. Tree Folk Warrior. Ghastly Discovery. Una's Gate Warden. Yeah, I love the art from this set. Gloom Widow's Feast. Mana Forge Cinder. Scuzzback Scrapper. Goblin Warrior. Man, the goblins on this plane are kind of demonic looking. Elvish Hex Hunter. Golden Glow Moth. We got Tatterkite. Moonring Island. I'm going to check that one. It's nothing big, but Drove of Elves is actually pretty good on common. And an Isleback spawn. It's got Shroud, 
gets plus four plus eight as long as a library has 20 or fewer cards in it right so if you're working on milling yourself or your opponent down to 20 then uh, you're probably not worried about getting to seven mana to play this thing I'm, I'm guessing that's actually a buck actually you must see a little bit of play somewhere I'm gonna L4 token there we go all right Eldritch Moon a little bit newer Ingenious scab, so he's a smart zombie. Spring Sage Ritual. Bombardment with Therese Nielsen art. You know I love it, obviously. Bond. Skarsdag Supplicant. Field Creeper. Reserves. A Brute. Whatever that was. Blessed Alliance. Abandoned Reason. Advanced Stitch Wing. Dark Salvation, yeah. This is a pretty good card. Uh, target player puts X 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield. Then up to one target creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn for each zombie that player controls. You gotta pay the X cost twice. It's a buck. Okay, it's not as good as I thought. Cryptolith Fat Fragment. And it flips over to Aurora of Emrakul. I don't think that's much of anything either. There we go. Cool zombie token. Yeah, I like that one. All right, Guild Pact is up next. Drake Thrall, Dowsing Gloom. Is it Signets? So the Signets, they trend a little bit higher. Yeah, they get played in Commander a bunch, apparently. And the Guild Pact version is a buck. Savage, Worm, Nodorog. <laughs> Mage Mark, Ogre. We've got a Crypt Wailing. Souls of the Faultless. This used to be up around 90 cents to a dollar. I don't think it is anymore. It's come down a bit. I'll pull it. Dryad Sophisticate and a Godless Shrine. Original Godless Shrine. Excellent. There we go. Tap to add white or black. And you can shock it in to have it come into play untapped. Very nice. The original is 20 bucks. Great. Very happy with that. All right. Konzatar here. Chance at a fetch land. Let's do it. Whoops. Man, that pack just kind of fell apart there. Barrage of Boulders. A Savage Punch. Yeah, this card's always funny. A little bit of bear punching going on there. Stroke. Stainful Stroke, Zombie Ape, Arrow Storm, The Cliffs, The Wind Scout, A Disowned Ancestor. We got a Tamir Charm. Are the charms worth like anything? Not really. Not from this set, apparently. The Savants, a Bear Companion, and. Oh, 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 I couldn't have planned that any better. I think this is probably the best fetch land. And uh, I will take it. You pay one life, sacrifice it. Search your library for island or swamp card. Put it on the battlefield and shovel your library for polluted delta. 48 bucks. Wow. And, you know, this, this card has been reprinted now. Um, but only in the expeditions. So the Zendikar Rising expeditions have not done anything to bring down the price of fetch lands. Um, it just the demand is just too high. It's, you know, every, every deck needs it. Every modern deck, every commander deck, every vintage deck, right? So, there you go. Hey, that turned out really good. This is a good, good bunch of cards right there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Uh, make sure to comment down below and hit, hit the like button. And I'll catch you on the next one.